Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a rainy Monday morning and I'm off my way on my way to work. Late. Not I want to say as usual. But no, you're doing alright, but just late today. One did not want to get out of the bed. Like seriously didn't want to get up. So how y'all doing today? Been like a week since I've been on YouTube. Just want to make sure my messages that I get to you are meaningful. So I just don't want to be on here just rambling. Sometimes it's speaking from the heart when I ramble, but I just want to make sure I have an in-depth, you know, message for y'all every time I come on here. So hopefully y'all not listening to me too bad, but I'm missing y'all. I'll be wanting to be, I'll be wanting to talk to y'all all day, every day. But, I mean, I don't want to look at me and listen to me all day, every day. So I try to give y'all y'all space. But anyway, today's message is don't force people to support you. Don't force people to be around you. Don't force people to just be in your space. Don't give people that opportunity. You know, if they're not going to be there for you, so they're not going to be there for you, so what? I've led, led a life of some, I've done some bad things in my past. And that's caused me to not have friends, to not be around people, to for people not to be around me, and for people I want to be around, but don't want to be around me because of the life I led. But I've changed, and I'll no longer have that um, desire to have people around me because people are fake. People only want to be around you for their benefit. Or they only want to be around you to see what you're doing, to go talk about you to other people. Nowadays, there's no more love in this world. There's no humanity. It just seems like all that's dead. And so I definitely really are very cautious now about who I let in my space. And it's, it's not a lonely thing because I feel like God is the only one that's been there for me throughout my entire life. Duh. And throughout my ups and downs, the only person that stayed concrete, stayed evident, I didn't know it, but I know it now. But I can't say, like y'all be posting my A1 since day one, I, I don't have one. And sometimes I wish I could be like my A1 since day one, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And the people that's in my life now. I don't know. Um, I don't have friends. And I'm okay with that. I just really, my message is like, don't force people to be around you. God, if God put, if God has seen you through your ups and downs and God has been there, that's basically who's going to be there. That's basically your friend. It's like, he know you. No, every time you do, you don't have to hide nothing from him. You can't hide nothing from him. And it's like, only person that'll help you out. Only person that'll get you, help you on your bills. Only person that'll hold you when you cry. Only person that you can talk to at any time. And like, it's like I know you'd be like, I want to call my friend at this such a time of night, but they might be asleep. God never sleeps because he's watching you, watching over you, watching over me, watching over everybody. So whenever you want to talk to somebody, there you go. That's how I feel like I don't have nobody to talk to in the middle of the night or Brad when stuff go good for me I don't have no God but God so I don't force nobody to be around me I don't care at this point no more like I have my kids and those are my best friends and I can't talk to them like I want to but it's like between them and God I'm good cause when things pop off for me that's who I'm doing this for. So it's like I'm good with the circle I got. I'm not going to force somebody to be around me. Especially not now. Especially not now. Because things going to pop off of me and then mm -mm, you stay where you at. You keep your same energy. Okay? I, I mean, God is like... God has been just there when I wasn't there for my own self. Like, God has loved me when I haven't loved myself. 
God kept me when I didn't keep myself. Like, I really don't see no other way around what I haven't got in life. It's just not even possible. When, like, this morning, I woke up, I was like, I'm not going to work. But everybody knows, if you don't go to work, it's a no call, no show. And that's ground for termination. Do you really want to get fired over not just because you don't want to go to, to go to work? You have a responsibility. You have kids to take care of. You have rent to pay. You have stuff to do. You just don't want to get up. That's when you call out on the name of Jesus, whatever is bothering you, to release it. Pray for a good day. Put on your clothes and keep it moving. And that's what I do. You know? Everybody's going through something. Everybody is going through something. There are people going through worse. So I can't complain. I got a job. I got to get up and go do it. But there's a lot of people that don't have jobs that want jobs. So I'm not going to sit and lose my job because I don't want to go to work. I got breath in my body. God, let's go, you know. Y'all should have that attitude. If you want to do better, do better. Don't tell everybody your business. That's how you lose friends, too. Because you tell everybody your business, and then they make your business their business. It ain't what's up. But what I got going on, everybody don't need to know. What God has for you, it's for you, and what God has for me is for me. You don't need an audience. You don't need copyrights. You don't. You don't. I like my cute umbrella. I like a little over. It's so cute. But seriously, like, I feel like sometimes I get lonely and think I want a physical body to talk to. Then I watch and see how they really, they treat people and how people talk about people behind their back. And I be like, oh, no, don't need them. Don't need that. Don't want that. I'm standing outside my donut shop. I hope y'all took something from this video. Y'all have a great day. Pray to God. That's all you need. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday and it is raining once again. But I'm in a better mood than I was on Monday. But anyway, today's message is ask God to shed things that's not for you that you have in your life. That you're having trouble to get away from it yourself. Ask God to remove people. That means you no good. Ask God to remove the desire and taste for things that you should not have. If you're on drugs, uh, mar uh, married men, whatever your whatever your guilty pleasure is, all you got to do is ask God to remove it. It's going to be a hard process. It's not going to be removed overnight. You have to stick to it. You have to be disciplined. If that's what you want, that's what you want. If that's what you want God to do, you have to be serious about it. You have to be serious about it. It's called, it's a shedding process. God wants to remove everything from you and break you down so he can rebuild you in the image of him. And I have yet, I don't feel like I have yet to been broken down, but when and it comes up when God does break me down, I know God will see me through. I know it's nothing it's the process that I will not be alone in. God will always see you through whatever you're going through because God has been with me from day one. So when it's my time for God to share and break me down and create me in the image of him, and if he has already done it, I'm grateful for that. But I just need y'all to know. Y'all y'all need to get away from these things that mean you no good. People that mean you no good, that's not there to benefit you. If they don't, people will say stuff to make you realize they ain't right for you. God will remove them without you even, you ain't got a cause of this, you ain't got a cause of altercation, ain't gonna be none of it. If you ask God for something, God will handle it. Just believe God will handle it. Okay,
Love yourself. Take time and, and take time to work on yourself. You don't need no audience. You don't need nobody to be around you. If they don't want to be there, you don't force nobody to be there for you. God is all you need. Believe in yourself. Shed people and things that's not meant for you. When people say stuff, you take them as they were. I'm going to work with a positive mind. I'm manifesting good positive vibes. I feel things are working in my my favor. And people are saying things that I'm not even going to question. Deuces. Because the less people in my life that don't mean me no good, the more time I have to thank God for the things he, are, he is doing for me. The more time I, like, I don't have to talk to people that ain't mean for me that don't want to be in my life. I can talk to God. Somebody is doing me just. So I'm not going to mope over somebody who just decide they don't want to be with me or decide they don't want to be on my team or decide they don't want to support me no more. You don't have to worry about them no more. Let go and let God wish them best. You know what I'm saying? The less drama in your life it gives you more time to praise God for the less drama in your life. I would no longer wish I had a friend. No longer wish I had this because somebody else had Because I don't know how they have it. But guess what? What I don't have is what I don't have. But I'm thankful for what I do have. Because what I do have, I'm, be, I'm damn sure going to take care of and make me the best out of it. My time is coming. Your time is coming too. But I'm telling you, my time is coming. My time is coming. I feel like God is in a blessing season and I'm here for it. I wake up every day knowing my time is coming. Because I wake, when I wake up every day, I know it's, I'm getting one step closer to my blessing. One step closer to what I'm asking God for. And I've been through the storm. And my storm might not be over, but I know God is with me, so I feel like I can handle and face anything. Because just because I got God, I feel like I can handle and face anything.